how are you? I missed you so much. I want you to know that today I'm going to upload for you a lesson. I will explain for you a new lesson and you will hear it as if you are in class. So get your ICT books and get started. All right, guys, your ICT book is there with you. I want you all to open these pages and start reading now. After you read the pages uh, 38, 39, okay, read them carefully. Now you can start watching the video after you finish reading, please. Today you will learn how, uh, how to open up um, Excel, a program, new program called Excel. It's part of Microsoft uh, programs. And the first lesson in our uh, spreadsheet, so if I say spreadsheet, it means Excel. What is a spreadsheet? It's um, a bunch of columns and rows, all right? It's a grid of columns and rows. So a spreadsheet is basically a grid of columns and rows. In the spreadsheet, we've got small boxes. These boxes are called cells. Each cell has a cell reference. So the boxes are the intersection of the column and row. So each one is an intersection between columns and rows. It's called a cell and each cell has a cell reference. Cell reference means a name. Okay, so each cell has a different name in Excel. I want you to look at it and see what I mean. All right, and open your computers. No phones, no iPads. So that's what I'm talking about. Once you open Excel, it looks like this. These are the columns and the rows are numbers. So the columns are letters, rows are numbers. Let's look at the book. So cells, these are the cells. If you click here anywhere, it's called a cell. And each cell has a name. Now you will see how you label the cell. It's called C. Three. This is the intersection. You start with the column letter and then the row number. Okay, so that's the cell reference. Okay, you're going to find attached here uh, in your uh, system and the system of the school. You're going to find attached a list of questions. Please print it, answer it, and practice at the end. Okay? Here we go. Let's see. Cells and cell reference. We already know it. Values and labels. What's a value and what's a label? A value, value, something valuable, value, it means a number. Value is a number. So any cell that has this, so this cell contains a value. Okay. If I type post, this is called label. So any cell that has this, it means it's a label, and this is a value. If I say add a label, you add this, for example, just an example. And if I say add a value of whatever, it's a number, okay? So that's all the basics. Now I need you to start practicing, okay? Before you start practicing, you're going to do activity, uh, create a spreadsheet, page 39. So open page 39 and start going. Uh, once you type, okay, you can use formatting text from here. You can format your text. So if you want to do bold, you use bold. So you need to know that formatting a text means you use the text tools from the ribbon in the text uh, tools ribbon up there home text ribbon, okay? Uh, you're going to use it and you're going to edit your text accordingly. So that's called formatting, all right? And now if you go back here and there, so if, for example, the text was longer than you expected, 
posts and uh, things you need making an example okay to do okay now look here the text went over the other cells no the text didn't go over the other cells the text is only in cell c4 it's not here if i click here it's empty okay so the other text is in here but what do we have to do to show it all you have to adjust the width of the column Let's adjust the width. You bring the mouse over, okay, the line, the edge of the column that you need to change. Click and drag. Ta-da! This is it. This is how you change the width, the width of your column. So you change it according to what you need. That's all. As easy as that. Okay? So I hope this is clear. Now you can start typing your own text. Page 39. It's a spreadsheet. Your own spreadsheet. Sorry. I will drink coffee and finish it and we will get going. Now that you type the information like I did, okay, you're going to start formatting. What does that mean? You're going to change as what you see in your textbook. Now in cell A1, this one, it has to be bold and bigger in size. So you change it bold and bigger in size. Cell A3, okay, it says all of that. You click bold, so it's bolder. Okay, and I obviously forgot to add the numbers because I want to show you how am I going to add it. I will edit this according to the biggest word that I have. And then I will start adding the numbers. So here is four, two. Remember when you add a value, you cannot add value and label together. You cannot add a number and text together. And when you add, add only a number. When you label only text, okay? That label, you can add numbers to it, but you consider it as a label, as text. So it's not a number. A number has to be alone in the cell. A number has to be alone in the cell. Seven, three, four, five, six, five. So I'm done. I've added all my information. That's all for today. You learned how to do formatting. You learned the difference between labeling and uh, value, adding a label, adding a value. So it's as simple as that. Using that formatting is already known. You already know how to use it. Uh, it's the same as Word, Microsoft Office Word. So it's pretty easy. I want you all to try it at home. And we'll see next time what we will learn. Good luck. Please like this video and subscribe to Computer Ideas for Kids.